Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of this moving series where we've just arrived at the new house and it's time to unpack the house. I'm gonna show you a load of like bits and pieces that we bought for the house and all of that stuff. And yeah, we're gonna enjoy our first night in the house. I'm so excited, but I feel like I need a drink. I'm just so happy that we're finally in. Daisy Wally, you're gonna come to your new garden. <gasps> Hello, your new house. You're going to see new garden. Oh, look at that. I wanna be close That's to a bit bigger, isn't it? <laughs> and I show you like it? <laughs> you got look at it, Daisy. That's Every day I got Daisy. your back. Yeah, you can come oh me for that. How did you like it? So put your hand in mine. I will be there every day when you're sick. Here's your ready to see the new house! Come on, let's see the new house! Sight than that. Cheers, 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 cheers. Happy home, happy home. Happy new home. Happy new home, Al. I'm going to try and be polite and not neck this. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> okay, I've just got my bar stools out. New bar stools. Haven't unpacked anything else in the house yet. Are you happy, Bolly? You got your toy. So at the moment, the only thing we've unpacked are the essentials champagne. The champagne glasses and somewhere to sit. Oh, that's music. Literally, what else oh, do you need? Music. So I'm going to sit down for the first time in my kitchen island. Cheers. Oh, sorry, Al. <laughs> Cheers. 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 Drinking our pink champagne and Katie's like, look what else we've got, guys. And when we run out of champagne, we we've got rosé wine. Glass, look at that. Frogs, was it? So you put marmite in, you can put their little treats inside. Oh, this is a frisbee, toys. this is a rope thingy. Oh, doggies, you got new toys oh, for your house. Yes, you are. Oh, 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 new house, new toys. What have you got, Dennis? Mr. Rope. Look, oh, Rope Teddy. Oh, oh, rope oh, Teddy. New toys. New what house. have you got, darling? <laughs> oh, he's got the Teddy. Do we have enough prosecco to last us um, the weekend? Seeing as you're so into colour, Alec. Yeah, look at it. These are so nice. Aren't they lovely? Yeah, the bottles are you so nice. Drink. Yeah, they look too. I mean, I definitely will drink them, but yeah, they look really nice. Just what what's this? Like like nice. Alex, yeah. Keep that. Oh, flat. thank you so much. Keep it much. flat. Don't okay. tip it. Open this first. Okay. Is it? Slowly. <gasps> oh my oh, god. Look. And Alex. There is a ripple. there is a ripple of excitement as you move into your new home. However, all the unpacking is nothing to snicker at. <laughs> so before you roll over and flake out, we thought you might need a bit of a boost. <clears throat> Once you are settled, you could have a breakaway and maybe go on an aeroplane somewhere hot and sunny. Oh. But for now, why don't you take some time out and have a picnic with this bounty of goodies to snack on? You are the kind kind kindest people in the Milky Way <laughs> and truly have hearts of gold. Oh, gold you gold. are absolute diamonds. 
and deserve all the happiness in the galaxy. Congratulations on your new home. Love from That's good, isn't it? Did you write that? Did you make that up? Now we've got the big one. The big one. Oh my bad. Andrew, you open this one. Yeah. You open this one. I did the last one. Oh, we've seen these in the garden yeah, centre, haven't we, like before? These. We really like them. Do you like them? Yeah, yeah. I do love, love them. them. Look nah, how nice they are. Oh, thank you so much. These Prosecco's as well, look at these. Yeah, they are so nice. Do you want to Good. Good. Good morning. 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 Sorry, I'm going to have to do it again. Yeah, it's it's a bit bit Good morning. So, first night's sleep in the new house last night. We didn't actually end up getting to sleep until about two in the morning. We just spent so long unpacking the van, we were kind of unpacking the van, putting stuff into the garage and then moving stuff from the garage into the house. So we've still got loads to do, but we were literally getting the sofas in the house at like midnight last night. So yeah, it's been very late night and then a very early morning, but I've just kind of like put myself together for the day. The long hair has gone up today. It's Lara Croft vibes today. I need my hair off my face. And I'm just wearing this really, really comfortable two-piece from H&M. Honestly, just feels like I'm wearing pyjamas, but I needed ultimate comfort and stretchy trousers for today. But yeah, I also had a lovely shower this morning in my new shower. It was very, very nice. It's got all these different settings on it. It's got like wake me up mode sport mode i need to actually work out how to use my own shower it's crazy but yeah very lovely shower this morning so what i'll do is i'll take you downstairs and i'll show you kind of like the progress that we've made might not look like much but there's so many boxes that we've un unpacked but we've still got loads to do so i'll give you a little update so last night obviously i mean who actually puts their bed up on the first night that they're in a new house. So we had mattress on the floor. We have got a few boxes in Andy's um, dressing room bit. Um, my like makeup hair stuff is in there. Obviously you've just seen the bathroom. We've just got a couple of um, couple of little bits in here. Do you like my little dangly plant that I put on my recess shelf? And if we come into the living room, as you can see, we have just shoved the sofas in here for now. We've actually got someone coming around that is going to um, professionally clean these. So they actually look a bit grubby on this camera. Um, they look even grubby in real life. I didn't realise how grubby they were until I put them in a brand new house and brand new carpet. And then all of a sudden I was like, oh God, they need a clean. TV's here. So we're going to put the TV on the wall today. Obviously just more boxes of living room bits and bobs. Um, I also need to find a spot just to put my mirror, but at the moment it's just chilling here for now. So yeah, we've uh, made a lot of progress in the kitchen as well. So I'll take you in there and show you what's going on in there. Not done your hair yet, Andy. No. Uh, we sorted the internet out. The internet's done. Yeah. Woohoo! So you can actually upload a video. And then if we come into the kitchen, as you can see, it's all going on in here at the minute. Currently unboxing the cleaning bits. We've obviously got the stalls out. My little chopping boards over there. And um, we have actually, you'll all be pleased to know, girls. I know you'll fully support this. We have actually managed to fill the wine fridge with Prosecco. So um, I'd say unpacking so far is a total success. So wine fridge is full. This makes me feel like a proper adult. I've actually got a little alcohol cupboard. I feel like this is the cupboard that when you have kids, they sneak in here when they want to steal some of like mom and dad's booze. Do you know what I mean? We're going to keep our like wine glasses and things in the bottom here. Well, I'll do like a full kitchen tour once everything's done, but just to show you some little bits and bobs. Cleaning, we've got our dining table out here, and then I've got a little pot in the corner there, but I think I want to put a really nice, maybe like um, table, a side table, and then put this beautiful big pot 
This um, pot is from Charles Ted Interiors and then this faux, it's like faux eucalyptus and I think this is faux willow. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think that's what it is. Um, but it's really big and it's quite statement so it's not going to live on the floor in the corner there, it looks a bit sad. So I am going to get a nice table I think to put there so that when you walk in this room it's just there and you can see it. The dogs have been so good. I feel like they're already kind of settling. Aren't you darling? You came upstairs to mommy's bed this morning. They're loving the garden space and just running around. We've popped our outdoor furniture there. Yeah, it's just, it's all slowly coming together. The utility stuff, it's all going on in here. As you can see, we're just slowly starting to unpack everything in here. And then guys, I've got a pantry. I've never had a pantry before. I feel very posh, but obviously you can probably already guess the vibe in here. I 100% want to get um, like baskets and jars and have it all looking really cute and nice. Um, but yeah, this space is just so, so good. In this top drawer at the minute, I've popped sort of like all our spices and like cooking sauces things like that. I mean, this isn't set in stone right now. I probably will at some point go through everything and have a proper organize. Um, but yeah, just for now, this is where I've put everything. I love the fact we've got this little worktop bit on here because it's just such a fab place to like pop your toaster and things like that. Obviously, I don't think the kettle is gonna be staying in there because of the steam. Um, but potentially coffee machine and toaster will be living in here just out of the way. Are you having a little snooze there, Des? Is it all too much? So the other day I actually popped to the range and picked up some new bits for the house. I was going to show you them when we were at the old house and I thought, actually, no, I'll save them so I can show you here. So let me go and get them. Here we go. So, first up. Big old feather twister. New dustpan and brush, very exciting, but I really like the colour of it. Thought it was very, very cute. Uh, new oven gloves. How cute are these? The little rabbits on them. I thought they just all look very nice with the vibe. And then these, I couldn't resist these. I thought these were so cute. How cute are these tea towels? This little pack of three. I thought with like the green kitchen island, Green tea towels. I love that with the lemons on it. I just thought, very, very cute. I also got some more tea towels because you can just never have enough. So these tea towels match the oven gloves. I thought, I thought these could be my summer tea towels and these could be my winter ones. I did get a few cleaning bits as well. Uh, just some new flash uh, padlock. Uh, pads. Also got some of the fluid for it. I absolutely love my flash mop. It's so good. And then what else did I get? Uh, fabric refresher just for the sofas. New scrub daddy obviously. Some linen fresh Zoflora. And then Vicar spray for the shower, if you know, you know, the best stuff ever. So yeah, that was my random little haul of cleaning bits and bobs uh, from the range. So I'm going to unpack all these now, <laughs> unpack them, get rid of the plastic, pop them away. And then I've also got a cherries order that I got full of new cleaning bits and I've got a cheeky discount code as well. So. I'm going to quickly put these away and then I'll show you my cherry stuff as well. And then we've got a box of cleaning goodies from Cherries. As I said, I do have a discount code for these guys, so I'll pop it on the screen. I can't remember it off the top of my head, but I'll pop it on screen. They do so, they actually do way more than cleaning stuff. They do like general food, but for me, they're like my go to for cleaning stuff because their prices are so decent. So I've got. I've got quite a box full here, yeah, I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to get it all out and show you everything that I've got. Okay, so as you can see, I've got a nice little stash of things here. I've got another one of these feather dusters. Honestly, you can never have too many of these. I think I'm going to have one upstairs and one downstairs. 
Um, as I said, cleaning like in between your blinds, they're just fab. I've got some toilet cleaner, so I've got one that I'm going to put in each toilet and I've also got a couple just as a backstash. And then new dishmatic always, I just, can you remember a time when you just wash it by hand because oh, I can't, so dishmatic, I mean do I really need to show you these but fizz and fresh for the loose. Some Febreze plugins to make everything smell nice. Bold washing tabs, and I've also got some dishwasher tabs. Baking soda, brilliant for cleaning out your plugs. So what I'll usually do is I'll chuck a bit of this down the plug with a bit of white vinegar and it'll just fizz away, do its thing, and it's just really good for cleaning out the plugs and the pipes and all of that stuff. So got some more of that, and this just lasts forever. Honestly, I feel like I'll probably buy one of these every year no joke it just lasts forever method spray for obviously surfaces classic little fairy liquid and then these minky cloths which i swear by so i've just got some sort of like general purpose white cleaning cloths i've got one for the kitchen and then one for the glass and windows because as you can see we've now got a lot of glass and windows so I thought let's buy a dedicated minky cloth for them so yeah I'll pop the discount code for you on screen guys everything I'm obviously showing you here you can get there I've got loads more I've got a load of stuff like from the the pink stuff from them as well They've, they stock all of that you can buy your scrub daddies on there oh I did actually have I've already unboxed him though did get a cute new little scrub daddy as well but he's already in his new home and then something else i've just picked up are these white little trays from amazon so i thought these would be really good you know just for organizing the cleaning stuff so i'm maybe going to put like my cloths in one of them maybe like my surface sprays for like the kitchen in one maybe the bathroom stuff in another just to help keep it organized so i will link these in the description box they're honestly they're dead cheap but they do the job, don't they? You can actually buy these ready-made stickers on there as well. So you can actually label these, but I didn't want to do that because I thought, I actually don't know what I'm going to put in each one yet. So I'm going to organise the cleaning bits in here. So I've got a tray here for like cloths, spare scrub daddy and like Brillo pads, all of that stuff. I've put kind of like my um, like air fresheners and the flora in here. So I've got all like my air, like my, what am I trying to say? My air freshener sprays, fabric sprays, like a couple of plugins there. Here I've just got like my multi-purpose spray, so my method. Also pop my window and glass spray in there. This is kind of like bathroom toilet area, so I'll pop the baking soda in there. I've got the bathroom stuff, I've got the toilet things in here. Just popped another plug in there as well. And then this is kind of like miscellaneous. Don't know what to do with your tray. So I've got carpet cleaner, I've got my sieve, pink stuff, Lenore crease releaser, but this just makes it look so much more organised. It already makes me excited to clean the house. So I'm so glad I got these. Okay, so I've just come up to the dressing room. Oh, glass of Prosecco. I've basically got a really bit of a boring job. So I thought, if it's boring, Prosecco. Guys, I'm not even making an excuse for it, right? I've been so desperate to get in this house and I said, that first weekend that I'm in the house, it's all about the Prosecco. So there we go. So at the moment, let me show you what this room is looking like right now. There we go. So if you walk in, you can see we've popped a few clothes rails here on the left, coat hangers, and then I've got some of my dressing room here 
I'm embarrassed to say that there is a lot more downstairs, but I'm gonna make a start on this first. So in a couple of months, maybe two, three months, this will be like a fully functioning dressing room. We're gonna have like the built-in wardrobes made. We're gonna have, well, I've just got a whole plan for this room, um, which is just in, we're just kind of in the motion at the minute of finalizing stuff. But for now, I do need some kind of order in here. So just bought some really cheap IKEA clothes rails. These are only eight pound each. And when I looked on Amazon for clothes rails, the cheapest one I could find was about 30 quid. So these from Ikea are just such a good bargain. I'm just gonna make a start on trying to get a little bit of order in here and just hanging up some bits and bobs, so yeah. progress in here so as you can see pop my rails up here and popped a lot of things hanging up I've tried to create some sort of organization here so I've got like my caps on the floor here um, kind of like light jackets hoodies that sort of thing here I'm gonna pop like my dresses play suits here I'm gonna pop my blazers here I've not got around to unpacking everything yet so not everything is on these rails quite yet but hopefully by the end of tomorrow there will be here i have popped all of my shirts and then my cord sets and then on the floor here i've just popped my gym gear here shoes there got some more shoes in that corner i've got to unpack the rest i'm gonna put them along there i've put my jeans and kind of bottoms here I've got this plastic tray which I'm going to put a load of my tops like folded up. Um, as I said, it's obviously not done, bit of a work in progress, but for now it will do the job. Um, I'm not going to bother buying any more kind of like temporary storage bits because at the end of the day this room is going to have like built in wardrobes and all that jazz. So there's no point in me buying anything else for the sake of it being in here for what, a couple of months max. So yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to doing the rest of this because um, it's still, even with everything in, it kind of will replicate what it's almost going to be like when it's done. Like the clothes are essentially in the places that they're going to be in anyway, just obviously not behind wardrobes. But yeah, guys, I'm actually really, really pleased with this progress. I feel like sometimes I show you this on camera and it kind of looks like, is that all you've done? But this has taken me hours today literally taking me so long and i still need to unpack this suitcase as well but yeah really pleased think i've made good progress i've got some more stuff out here on the landing coat hangers and then in here um you'll notice a lot of like vacuum packed bags so a lot of this is my winter wardrobe so i don't have everything out in my dressing room i like to put a lot of things away and vacuum pack it just so when I'm getting ready um, of a morning, I'm not also rummaging through jumpers and coats. And I like to just keep in my dressing room things that I'm currently wearing for the season. So this is my winter wardrobe. And that's a little door there, which takes you sort of like into the storage area. Because obviously we're in the roof at the minute, so we don't have um, a huge loft sort of space. However, in here, this goes back all the way, like the width of the house. And there's actually so much storage. Look, I've got my Disney toys in here, which I just can't, I, I, I used to like collect these. And I know it's a bit childish, but I can't bear to get rid of them. Look, so cute. The weather has just took a turn for the worse. It's just started raining, but oh God, I look a bit sweaty, a bit shiny. We have got our friends coming around tonight. Nothing too crazy. They're just going to come around. We're going to have a few drinks. I think maybe we're going to order a pizza. I'm trying to keep <laughs> the new oven as new as possible for as long as I can. 
so yeah we're just gonna order a pizza and just have a chill and yeah it's been a really hectic a really hectic 24 hours to be honest but we've made a really really good dent in unpacking and still got a long way to go but not far off but let me just show you the kitchen area because it's looking really nice now it's looking all tidy i've mopped it's looking really nice so if we go in here oh the puppy dogs are eating their dinner so there we go it's all looking lovely and clean nice clean island all here is looking much more clean fresh nice Obviously priorities, we have to get our speaker out. But yeah, the weather is awful. But as you, oh, Andy's here. I feel like Andy hasn't been in any of this vlog. I bet people have thought, oh, she's uh, got the new house and dumped him. <laughs> or nearly. she's vlogging and he's doing all the hard work. Yeah, oh, obviously yeah, I've done <laughs> absolutely nothing today, guys, whatsoever, but isn't it just looking so lovely in here? Like it's all coming together. I'm definitely gonna order as well a fourth bar stool for here because I think so, because I thought there would be enough room, but I think there's plenty of room for four. And you've got to think when we have people around, it's always usually another couple. So it makes sense to have a fourth one. Yeah. Um, but no, I'm really, really pleased with how it's looking. And now all the boxes have gone out of here, you can just, you can really kind of just appreciate how like open it is now. But yeah, guys, that is um, that is basically the update. Are you excited for a pizza, a prosecco? I am. I'm seeing no? if uh, the gates open or closed. Look at the view here from the induction hob. Imagine just cooking up some pasta. Oh, I'd love some pasta. Okay. We're gonna have pizza. I know. So we're actually ordering our first oh. takeaway pizza. It's not Domino's. It's not Pizza Hut. It's like a local pizzeria. Pizzeria, is that the right thing? Pizzeria, yeah. And I did a bit of research and I found out this pizza place actually delivers 24 seven. Really? So, when we have our karaoke nights and want a pizza at three o'clock in the morning, then we can. We know who to call. That's it, that's it. <laughs> but anyway guys, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here because I'm can shattered. Just, sorry, can we just say I do need a haircut on this thing? I just saw myself. Andy just wants, to confirm, so you all know that he needs a haircut. Yeah, like I'm this. sure they were, I'm sure every single person is looking, thinking well, I think I the same. Get a ponytail, is it you probably could get a ponytail in that now. Anyway, guys, <laughs> I really, hope, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Just unpacking, showing you the progress. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more over the next few weeks. Um, but yeah, guys. Anyway, I'm going to leave you here because our friends will be here any minute. Peace. So. Oh, you say bye. You never say bye in the vlogs. So it's pizza, prosecco time for us. But I hope you have a lovely day, night, evening, whatever you're doing. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.